Hey, welcome back to Mrzinski Family Homestead. I know we promised y'all a tea post quick lesson if any of y'all need it. Um, the easiest way to do a tea post, because a lot of people have problems with it in my years of doing tea posts. There's a lot of people that really don't, you know, know how to do it correctly to make it easier on themselves. I mean, granted, it, you know, anybody can sit there and hammer one in, but keeping them straight in line with each other and, and other stuff, that's where the, the tedious stuff comes in hand. So basically, the bottom of the What are you using? What tool are you using? I'm using a T-post driver. You can get these at Tractor Supply. Um, probably the best bet to go to Tractor Supply to get one. Or you can make one yourself. I mean, I've made them in, in the past myself uh, when I was a welder. But they, they just happen to be long gone, and I don't know where they're at. <laughs> So, um, so anyway, the base of the T, here's the string line, and the base of the T-post is probably about three quarters of an inch to the inside of the line, but I'm holding the T-post on an angle, so by the time you straighten it up, uh, when you get it started, it'll be flush with the edge of the line. So I'm going to hold it on an angle, and I'm going to hit it a couple times, like this. Okay, and now, now when your foot is able to touch, touch here, okay, you, if you see the T-post twisting any which way and you want to try to keep it straight, you just put pressure on this side or put a little pressure on this side, but you hold your tension with your T-post driver so it doesn't slide backwards that way. Don't put your don't put your foot shoe up underneath the thing that's going to go on the ground. Yeah, just put it flat. You know, just put your put your toes on your boot. Preferably use a boot, not sneakers. And you can see how it turns if you, to keep it straight. And when you get somewhat down in there, it's going to be off the line like this. Before you get this plate in the ground, you pull it a little bit just to straighten it. And it ain't going to really do anything as in loosening the seat post because you still got plenty of distance that it's going to be down in the ground. And the other thing is, if she can see, the top of that plate, as soon as the top edge, you know, this side has a point and this side, as soon as that top edge point comes flush with the top of the ground, that's when you stop hitting the, the T-post. So you'll see. Can you see that in the picture pretty yeah. good? Let me get that grass over there. All right. All right. And that, that's all she wrote. That's it. All right, guys, so that's how you put a T-post into the ground, the proper way. And it's, and it's perfectly straight up and down, perfectly, you know, I ain't saying perfect, but it's it's pretty much flawless. And it's right there on the line, the line, if I wiggle the T-post, the line, you see the line moving? If I yeah. wiggle the T-post, but if I let go of the T-post, the line stops, I'll show you. But it's right there on the line. And see y'all, this one's wanting to turn, so it's wanting to turn counterclockwise. It's one to turn counterclockwise, so you want to put your your foot on the left side. See how one side is further closer to his foot than the other? So so basically you just put a little pressure and you'll see it turn. See how it's turning straight? Yep. Alright, now you, before you get all the way down in there, make sure you wiggle it. See how it's straight perfectly on the line? Without bending the line. You can actually hold the, if you want to, you can hold the line so it don't bounce. Just hold it off of there, hair. No, 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 Levi's Levi. wanting to help. He's wanting to help. Come on in, Levi.
All right, y'all, and like I was saying earlier, the top of this plate, okay, um, at the top of this, as soon as you're hitting this in the ground, you stop, you stop the this plate right about here with the flush with the ground. So, uh, and you want to do that so that way, if any it, kids walk by and or any animals walk by, it's they're protected by the ground. Well, that's one of the reasons, and the other reason is, you know, this is what stabilizes the T-post from twisting. And, uh, and also, I've also seen, which I want to recommend, uh, we're, wanting, we're wanting animals not to get into this area, okay? So there is a proper way of, you know, putting a T-post and what direction to put it in. You know, I've seen T-post, you know, put in backwards uh, like this. And this would technically be backwards because this would be an animal needs to always push on this side of the T-post. So basically when you fence in a pasture, this area is going to be on the inside of the pasture, okay? Now with the garden, you don't want nothing in the garden. So basically you want to put it so nothing can push this way. So the, the flat part of the T-post, the top of the T right here, would be on this side so the wire goes to this because if you have it this way and the wires on this side you know they'll have play with it this 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 will stop the this will brace the the wire better this is how this is how it's supposed to be so basically these ribs here on the t-post need to always face where the animal so the animals can't get out basically that's that's what you can think in your brain and uh you know always have that in your thoughts you know a t-post like this you know, all T-posts are the same pretty much, except the heights. They have a few different size heights of it. And this one's seven foot, um, but after it's in the ground, it's probably about five foot. Uh, Go ahead. So basically, you know, we don't want animals going this way. So we want to have these ribs here. So, so the wire or, or the whatever wire you're using to keep them out, it goes against here okay I've seen you know like I was saying earlier a minute ago I've seen them put this way and that's what they're trying to do but they're just putting it this way and putting the wire on the out or the wrong side so uh, and I've done you know through my years of actually doing fencing um, I've actually did jobs and went behind other people that installed them the wrong way that's the reason why I'm saying that all right y'all we are uh, I don't know if you noticed, but these are refurbished T-posts. So basically, they've already been used. They've been in the weather for many years, you know. So there is some, you know, some of them ain't perfectly straight. They're bent. So I'm compensating for that when I'm putting them in the ground. And it's very easy to do. Um, but, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know that in case you do see any of them look like they're bent, it's because probably up up above here is bent a little bit or just by getting them out of the ground because we had to shake them back and forth because we didn't have a, a pole uh, a pole jack to get them out. A T-post puller. Yeah, T-post puller. So we just pretty much shook them back and forth for a little while and then pulled them up by it manually. So uh, they might be bent a little bit, but for the most part, for what we're trying to do, it's going to work just fine. All right, let's go do the other one. The last T-post for my garden, y'all. And you might have to finagle it a little bit. You know, pull the post to you in the ground or pull, push it away from you, whatever you need to do to straighten it up and before you do the final hit until it's, before you finally hit it all the way where it needs to be, where you need to stop it at. Do all that pushing and pulling around and wiggling it to, to fine tune it before you completely fully hit it all the way in the ground where it needs to stop at. And there it is. <laughs> all right guys, so this piece was, this part was the one of the first poles we tried to put in the ground and now it's the last, it's the hardest one. Yep, that's all she wrote. Now granted, when you, if you do get something like that, for a situation like we're doing, it probably ain't, it ain't really that critical. Um, 
but to keep a nice uniform line for like a top of a T post and running wire you need to have these all flush with the top of the ground these points so you can measure consistently and keep your wire gap spacing perfect um, but if you look this T post right here is actually shorter yeah than we, have, we have three varieties of T posts three different sizes and uh, we're making do with what we got yeah making do for what we got and that little bit that ain't going in the ground it'll make it pretty much the same height as these yep all right so, uh, so we, we pretty much got it now all I need is my roll of fences yeah but that's gonna be a that's a gonna be day another job. day <laughs> pulling fences tight all right y'all make sure you uh, check this video out uh, Y'all might learn like something it. from me, and I appreciate you for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please share, hit the like button, and if you want to follow us on our journey, uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. That'll be great, and that'll let us, let y'all know when we post a new video we're throughout the week. Raw land, and we're we're on raw land that we just purchased, and we're trying to uh, make our new homestead. Is basically what we're doing. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.